Hello, I'm your friend, Teacher Sam. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of language learning that often gets overlooked, the process of starting to think in English. You see, language is not just about words and grammar. It's a whole new perspective, a different lens through which we view the world. And when you begin to think in English, you're not just learning a language. You're opening your mind to a whole new world of ideas, cultures, and perspectives. This process can ignite a spark, an interest that makes learning English not just a task, but an exciting journey of discovery. So are you ready to embark on this journey with me to dive into the deep and intriguing world of the English language? Then let's get started. Embark on this journey with me and discover the beauty of thinking in English. Understanding the importance of thinking in English is the first step. But why is it so vital? Well, let's explore. Firstly, thinking in English is a catalyst for fluency. When you translate words from your native language into English, it can slow you down, creating a stilted conversation. But when you think in English, words flow naturally. Conversations become smoother. And you'll find yourself speaking English at the same pace as your thoughts. It's like switching on the fast lane on a highway. You get to your destination quicker. Secondly, it enhances comprehension. Ever watched an English movie and found yourself straining to understand? That's because your brain is working extra hard to translate those English words into your native language. But if you train your mind to think in English, you'll comprehend English content faster and better. It's like having a built-in English dictionary in your brain. Thirdly, it boosts your confidence. When you think in English, you establish a direct connection between your thoughts and your words, eliminating the fear of making mistakes. And as we all know, Confidence is key in any language learning journey. It's like having a personal cheerleader in your head chanting, you can do it. Now you might be thinking, this sounds great, but how do I start thinking in English? Well, don't worry, we'll delve into that in the next scene. For now, it's essential to understand that thinking in English isn't just a strategy. It's a mindset. It's about immersing yourself in the language, letting it seep into your thoughts, your dreams, your life. So. Don't just learn English. Live it. Breathe it. Think it. And once you do, you'll find that English isn't a foreign language anymore. It's a part of you. Believe in the power of your mind. It's your tool to mastering English. Now, you may be wondering, how do I start thinking in English? Well, it's not as daunting as it may seem. Let's break it down into manageable steps. Firstly, immerse yourself in the language. This doesn't mean you need to be in an English-speaking country. You can immerse yourself right from your living room, listen to English music, watch English movies, read English books, surround yourself with English as much as you can. The more you're exposed to the language, the more familiar it becomes and the easier it will be to think in English. The second step is practicing mental translations. Now, this isn't about translating word for word from your native language into English. Rather, it's about understanding the essence of what you want to say and then expressing it in English. Suppose you're thinking about what you want for dinner. Instead of thinking in your native language first and then translating, try to think it directly in English. It might be challenging initially, but with practice, it'll become second nature. The third step is to use English in your daily routines. For instance, when making a to-do list, write it in English. When discussing plans for the day with your family or roommates, do it in English. Even when you're alone, narrate your activities in English. For example, as you cook dinner, talk through the process in English. This continual use of English in your daily routines will help you to think in English more naturally. Finally, don't rush the process. It's important to give yourself time to adjust. It's perfectly normal to find it difficult at first, but don't give up. Keep practicing, keep immersing, keep translating, and keep using English in your daily routines. And before you know it, you'll be thinking in English without even trying. Remember, Practice makes perfect, so make these steps a part of your daily routine. Uh, let's delve into how thinking in English can improve your interest in learning the language. You might wonder, how does this work? Well, it's really about immersing yourself in the language, making it a part of your everyday life rather than a separate task to complete. Think about it this way. When you're learning to play a musical instrument, you don't just learn the notes. You learn to feel the music, to understand its rhythm and melody. Similarly, when you start thinking in English, you're not just memorizing vocabulary or grammar rules. You're learning to feel the language, to understand its rhythm and melody. 
One of the most significant benefits of thinking in English is that it makes learning more engaging and fun. If you've ever tried to memorize a, a list of vocabulary words, you know it's not exactly a thrilling activity. But when you start thinking in English, those words become part of a vibrant living language. You're not just learning words, you're learning how to express thoughts and ideas. Another benefit is that thinking in English allows you to better understand cultural nuances. Every language is deeply tied to the culture it comes from. And English is no exception. When you think in English, you're not just learning a language, you're learning about a culture. You're learning how English speakers think, how they view the world. This can make learning the language much more interesting and rewarding. Finally, thinking in English can significantly boost your motivation. When you see the language as a part of your life rather than a separate task, you're more likely to want to improve. You'll find yourself seeking out new words and phrases, eager to learn more. You'll start to see progress, and that progress will fuel your motivation. When you start thinking in English, you'll find learning the language not just a task, but a fascinating journey. So, are you ready to start thinking in English? We've journeyed together today, unpacking the importance of this shift in mindset and how it can reignite your interest in learning English. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. It's about waking up each day with the determination to learn and grow. We've discussed the steps you can take to start thinking in English, from immersing yourself in the language to engaging in mental conversations. It's a journey that begins with one step, and that step could be as simple as saying good morning to yourself in English every day. And let's not forget about the magic that happens when you start thinking in English. It's like opening a door to a new world, a world where your interest in learning English flourishes and your confidence grows. Start thinking in English today and you'll see your interest in learning the language skyrocket. Remember, every expert was once a beginner. Happy learning.